mostly incorporated into. Um, the, the dialogue changed, the discourse changed according to the needs of the time. So in the middle of the 19th century, when Emerson was writing, when he looked around his New England, there were these very poor people whom he did not consider Saxons, they were Celts, and they were immigrants, they were poor Irish immigrants, these were the famine immigrants. But by the end of the century, those people had children, and those children had gone to school, and they made their way up the economic ladder a little bit, that was one side of it. The other side was the turn of the 20th century brought a wave of new immigrants, people from Southern and Eastern and the Middle East. And so the, the former Celts uh, as a separate race got tucked into American whiteness, not as Saxons, but as Nordics. So the 20th century term is Nordics, which has to do with Europeans from the Northwest of Europe, which you think are. So that was an incorporation of people who had been despised. So the early 20th century saw something that we could only call racism against immigrants or immigrants from Southern and Eastern Europe. And by the time their children and young children were mobilized in the New Deal in the Second World War and then allowed to buy homes for white people only in the suburbs after the Second World War, then they become white people. There's a large sort of Paspartoon whiteness that appears in the body. And that's the whiteness that we have in the 21st century. It's a whiteness that is also being buffeted around a bit.